Hi, Maria. I seem to have screwed up the video that I was going to make you. There was only five minutes of it, so I thought I would try to do this kind of quickly and see if I can make my own video on Camtasia, because, you know, we love Camtasia. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to Poll Everywhere, like we did. Oops. And then I'll go to my polls. Let's see, what was a poll? This one's going to show you how to use Poll Everywhere's grade book. Let's see. And here were some true or false questions that my students answered. So I highlight, I clicked on the questions that I want to grade. I'm going to grade book. And then I'm clicking on finish. We're waiting. And I go over here to download, which is going to give me a .csv, which means something, but it's a kind of spreadsheet. Oops, open. And your good question was how many, these are the graded ones. So you need to look up in here to see, because these say total points, total answered. So these were the total points earned. Whoops, which I meant to highlight but I managed to forget. Oh, what? Okay. And I delete this stuff. Okay. And it got rid of everything. Why did it do that? It did that last time, didn't it? <laughs> I don't understand. Undo delete. Oh, I'm just gonna say something. Let's see. I just want it to, to disappear, but I uh, might not. Maybe if I clear the contents and then just move them together or not. But what I do want to do is include <coughs> their names and their grade and highlight them. Go over to sort and filter sort from A to Z, and then it'll alphabetize them and their grades. So that's how I'm going to do that, but better. Then I wanted to show you how to edit your slides. And let's look at carbohydrates. I'm ready for poll questions, so you need to edit them from the website, How People Respond. I just want my folks to respond by website, but text messaging is a good thing if their web's down. I didn't realize that, so thank you. Visual settings, go to total results, click on show on the chart so that it shows your students the number, and then I have it at count. I think it defaults to percentage, but I would go to count. You want to, if you don't want them to see the responses until after they're done answering, you would hide them or show them. And remember to save, always important. And what else did I want to show you as long as we're doing this? I will play with poll everywhere again. Where'd the poll go? Here it is. You can do the poll questions right inside your PowerPoint. Need, you need to make sure it's on your home screen. So whatever web page you're using, you need to make sure that that's the same um, frame or window or whatever it is that your poll is in. So I show this to my students if I haven't given them instructions beforehand to sign up for Poll Everywhere. I have them use last name, first initial, and your username, which is Masha. Much easier to remember. You can clear the responses if you haven't done that yet. And lock it when you're ready to be done, and then show the answers. And nobody answered my questions because nobody cares, but that number's here at the bottom. And then remember to 
figure out which button works best in Poll Everywhere. I was hitting the return key on my computer with my program, it wasn't working. This is a word cloud. People can just write things in it. You don't have the number of that. Um, this is a true or false question. If I didn't like the format for this true or false, I could go up to visual and I could set change the bar chart so that it looked different. I could have a pie chart or a bar chart. Total results, both clicked. Always remember to save. Those other buttons I'm sure do magical things. I just don't know what they are. And that is poll everywhere. Okay? See you later. Bye-bye.